It's Holy Tuesday, Tuesday of the Holy Week. The Gospel reading for today, my dear friends in Christ, is a sad moment of a double betrayal. It is a double betrayal. It is the story not only of the betrayal of Judas Iscariot, but also the betrayal and the denial of Simon Peter. Judas and Simon Peter, they are not outsiders. They belong to the inner circle of the Twelve. At the beginning of the Gospel, the Lord Jesus announces very solemnly, Truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. And that statement comes like a bombshell. For all their weaknesses, the twelve cannot imagine any one of them planning such an act of treachery, such an act of betrayal. And it was Peter who asked the beloved disciple who is closest to Jesus in every sense of the word to find out who the Lord was referring to. And the Lord responds, It is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish and Jesus hands over the morsel and the morsel is a symbol of sharing it is probably part of the bitter herb dipped in salt water which was a feature of the Passover meal and the Lord hands it over to the one who will hand him over to those who wish to be rid of him and this is an act of friendship that makes the coming betrayal doubly treacherous. The bitterness of the morsel is also significant. In that very moment, Judas Iscariot knows he has made his fateful decision because the Lord tells him, Judas, do quickly what you are going to do. And none of the other disciples realized the significance of these words. And as soon as he has left, it is no wonder that the gospel writer John made a comment. And it was night. It was night. And that statement by John is very symbolic. Because yes, it was night. And it was a moment of darkness. It was a moment of utter darkness. And this is a gospel that constantly makes a contrast between light and darkness. My dear friends, after talking about Judas Iscariot and after talking to Judas Iscariot, the Lord turned to another disciple, this time Peter. Peter, well-meaning but weak, swears that he will go all the way with the Lord even unto death. And it is the second betrayal in our gospel story. Worse in many ways, at least Judas did not make any wild promises. But Peter said, I will go with you wherever you go only to deny the Lord three times. My dear friends, we are entering into the spirit of the Holy Week more seriously. Let us also realize and admit that we have betrayed the Lord so many times. We have been treacherous to the Lord so many times. We have not obeyed the Lord so many times. Let us pray that we, like Peter, may weep bitterly for all the wrongs we have done and all the good left undone.
Amen.